Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all doing well. Um, and yes, I know it's a bit of a cheesy intro that, but you guys won't believe me how long it took me to get that BF1 intro. Um, it's not a reflection of my gameplay whatsoever, but I'll discuss that with you in the, in the cons of Battlefield 1. As I said in my previous video, um, I'm going to look at the PlayStation 4, you know, my first impressions. And um, to be quite honest, you know, there's not a lot of cons on the PlayStation 4 for me at the moment. You know, a week and a half, two weeks down the line. A uh, few things that I really like. Um, I can't really fault it whatsoever. Um, I think it's a brilliant piece of hardware. The one thing that immediately caught my attention was the, the graphics. You know, it just looks awesome. And as you can see on Battlefield 1 here, you know, it feels like you're playing in real life. When you run around, you look around, you look into the mountains, it, it looks like you're walking in the desert yourself. And that's that's the first thing that I've noticed. And the second thing is the, the sound. You know, everything just sounds brilliant. There's my settings at the moment, you know, everything is up to standard. Well, I haven't got a great monitor, that's why I can't enable the... HDR part as well, but graphics is just amazing. You know, it's on Battlefield 1, I've got World War 2, Call of Duty, and Warzone, and everything just looks and sounds brilliant. That's the first thing that I've that I've noticed when I switch it on, well, when I first loaded the first game, and I really enjoy it just because of that already. Well, I really enjoy the controller as well, it just feels wider in the hand, bigger, I've got really big hands, it just feels nice, and I've got my headphones plugged into my controller like that just a nice easy setup for me it just feels more uh, stubby in your hands you know it's it's a bit of a wider thicker grip type of thing and uh, the thumb grips is a little bit stiffer but i enjoy that more now one of the main reasons why i got the ps4 was to play bf1 and bf5 because i really wanted to play it i've watched how many videos of guys like um Jack Frags and the Broken Machine and I've always wanted to play BF4, RPF5 and then BF1. The nice things about it, you know, the maps looks awesome, the gameplay is brilliant, the sounds, I can't fault that, you know, it's, it's just amazing. But, and it's a really big but, the lag. The ping rate is horrible, you know, the latency, I'll, I'll show it to you guys now. It's, it's horrifying, to be quite honest. I genuinely thought after playing BF4, you know, I can play, I'm from, from South Africa, I can play European servers, American servers, and I've still got a chance to kill the people, and, and the lag, it, it doesn't really feel like lag whatsoever, you know, so it was a fair contest. But on this, it is not the same. If you're not living in um, America or in Europe, guys, you're gonna struggle. And I'm at the point that I wanted to stop playing BF1 after the first two days. That's how bad it is. In the right-hand corner, you'll see there's a there's 219 up there, 220. Well, that's my ping rate. That's that's the milliseconds, and that's terrible. I'll show you guys the, the part now where in a match I show you all the ping rates of the guys. You know, they 30, 40, 50, here and there is something a bit higher. And I come in at 220. There's two servers that I've played on. It was 280, 290 and even one that's over the 300. Now when you die the machine tells you, there you can have a look. Look at on your right hand side the latency of the guys I need to play with. That's why I've got no chance. If they don't stand still, or run towards you, you've got no chance of killing these people. When you die, it actually tells you your latency is really high, you need to lead with your shots. But how can I play games if I know I need to lead more, especially in close quarters? You've got no chance to kill these guys, and that's why I get so frustrated playing BF1 at the moment. So am I happy? Not at all. Maybe there's someone that can actually comment on this and um, let me know if BF5 is going to be the same as BF1. But that's it now for BF1. Another reason for my PS4 was Warzone. You know, I've watched endless hours of 
gameplay from Jack Frags, Broken Machine, Westy, all those guys. And um, it looked like something that I would like to play. Um, and it's not bad. You know, at first I played an American server, but I didn't change my Activision region. So the lag got to me a little bit. But then I changed it to Europe and I'm playing on South African servers now. So I've got a chance to kill the guys, you know, these guys are really good. I must say that as well. Because when I started playing then I'm level 1 to 10, something like that. And I get in the same lobby with guys that's level 100, 200, things like that. So it's going to be easy kill for them. But it's getting better. Again, sound is brilliant. You know, the graphics is really nice. And... Um, the game itself was and I can't fault it, except for the part that it's so big. You know, for me to download it was I think 130 or 140 gigs and then to install it, you know, the updates and everything. Um, I haven't got kept, uh, uncapped data, so I had to purchase more data just to install this game. So it cost me a bit of money just to get this, this um, game on my PlayStation. But now I want you guys to listen to this. Um, you know, you can't hear exactly what they're saying, but um, I just want you to to get idea what what's happening here. Ninety nine percent of the time, you can actually hear what the guys are saying after each match. So then it's basically an open lobby. Everyone can say whatever you want to. And um, that's the one big problem I've got with Warzone. And not actually with Warzone, the game itself. It's more the guys playing Warzone. And most of the time it's young kids. With the stuff that they say afterwards. Or when you play in their team. And they've got voice comms, you know, they've got a microphone. The stuff they say, it's just... I don't stand for stuff like that. The racial slur going on. The sexism going on, the swearing, um, I just can't believe the stuff that, that the kids nowadays are saying. Hopefully it's less than 1% of the guys playing Warzone, you know, the guys, the kids, less than 1% that behaves this way. I really hope so. And to make it worse, I'm playing on South African servers. And I'm really sorry to say that. But hey, that's it guys, um, that's my first two weeks of PlayStation 4, you know, a bit of Warzone, a bit of Battlefield 1, I hope you guys enjoyed it, well hopefully I can sort out my finger at it as well, so next time I bring you a BF1 video, I'll be better, hope you enjoyed it, if you did, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and like I always say, please take care, be safe, and not like some of the guys playing Warzone, be kind to one another. Cheers.